In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to use the Spring Go container. In this tutorial, I will try to show how using interface based dependency injection helps you in making application more loosely coupled and sudden change requests can be addressed with minimum efforts. Let's implement two more category of performer, instrument player and magician. As both are the category of performer interface, thus implement performer to it. As instrument player, gonna play an instrument, so create a variable instrument with its getter and setter methods and accordingly modify the overwritten performer method to display the instruments artist gonna play. Similarly, we create a class magician implementing performer to it and the item what magician gonna perform is some magic trick. So create a variable trick with its getter and setter and display the trick performed by the magician in the overwritten performer method. Let's modify the bean.xml file for one more performer Joe. Joe will show some magic trick. So we create a bean named Joe of class magician. We have to populate the property trick of the magician class with the trick Joe gonna perform. Say he gonna disappear people. Client class judges can access the bean from the core container using bean factory instance. Let's execute and see if it's working fine. Yes, it is. We already know that there is a class instrument player, may be in use by some other performer. Now suppose what if just one hour before the show, Shiv decided to change his item from singer to instrument player. Making modification to class file leads to follow various steps from compilation, unit test, integration testing, quality assurance test and so on, which requires not just an hour but few days. But with Spring IOC container, this change requires to modify only the bean.xml file with very few test cases. All we have to do is to modify the shift b class to instrument player and change the property from song to instrument and the value to instrument what Shiv gonna play, say guitar. Let's execute and see if the changes are reflected or not. Yes, it is. Code is working 